as it stands today, I have a mortgage, and here uh, it's 950 because I just recently built a house. We, my whole family, did not own a house, mm -hmm. so I'm the first one to to be a house owner. Mm -hmm. So that's 950 dollars. Um, bills for bills, that's about 300 dollars per month. Sorry. $300 per month. Um, then another expense is food. Let us say I can feed my family for breakfast with $5. That includes four adults and two um, children. $5 I will use, and this is my new budget, to, to give them breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, I will give them for lunch, $15. And for dinner, that's another $5. That's $25 per day. In 30 days, that's $750. So for food, I'm spending now um, $750. Um, and then I still have to buy soap, the other one, and other things. You know, the mundane things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But just right here, I'm already having a leftover of $86.57. That's what I have for me to buy my soap, for me to buy uh, uh, maybe the toothpaste. According to Bonilla, this budget still does not account for $70 he spends on a monthly basis for his mother's glaucoma medication. And while this is the breakdown for a teacher taking home just about $2,000 a month, Bonilla argues that there are teachers across the country taking home less with greater monthly expenses. The reality down here is that now we don't have enough to live a, a life with dignity, mm -hmm. um, spe especially if you're a person like me who's trying to move up, own a house, and starting to own uh, little things here and there. To adjust, Bonilla says his 75-year-old father now has to take up the slack by driving a taxi. Bonilla says many teachers have also gone to the route of exploring other streams of income, most resorting to selling food. The rippling effect here, however, is that teachers will now be cutting into the market shares of those who rely on selling food or other products as their sole stream of income. What the macroeconomics of this uh, will do is that there's 15,000 people who will be, more than 15,000 people who will be getting a cut. They will find alternative ways to fill in that gap. Those alternative ways might be a direct competition for those people who have been who rely on that right so the market share yeah. for the common belizean for the fudge selling belizean yeah. changes because now we are entering the market with our product and because we tend to have a little bit more idea on how to use social media and all of this yeah. i'm not saying that the average belizean doesn't what i'm saying is that now we are taking market share from them which didn't used to happen. Bonilla says in the most extreme cases, some teachers are temporarily withdrawing their children from university, while already marginalized families with large families are being significantly affected. I'm going to cut expenses, and I'm going to find a way to survive. Um, and no amount is too little if I can avoid the expense. I think that government should move in with that mentality also. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.